So, hey, Dan, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, hey, good, good. And what I want to ask you, and I'm sure a lot of people, knowing that uh, as a young adult, you're coming into the Catholic Christian faith, and I know there's a lot of young adults, maybe even grew up Catholic or other traditions, that right now in their young adult life are thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to connect to the church, that's no, not important, or I don't see that as an essential part of my life. But let me ask you, as a young adult, what first drew you or what other reasons to to come into the Catholic Christian faith? Um, well, number one is my wife is Catholic and her whole family is Catholic. So when we um, were getting married, we were engaged. We went through the pre-canon classes through Catholicism, through the cathedral downtown Cleveland. And that was my first real experience. I'd go to church with her. Um, I grew up Methodist in a strong church. And as we grew, as I grew older, um, that church kind of, um, it, it started falling off. A lot of the members started passing away. And, and as I got, as I started going back to church where I grew up at in the Methodist church in Firestone Park, it was, um, it, I, I didn't get the same out of it. Um, I didn't feel like I felt as a kid going there. And so um, when I started dating Sarah, my wife, and then we started doing our pre canon classes, I started going to church with her a lot in multiple um, Catholic churches around Akron and Cleveland. And uh, I really started liking it then. And um, so then we got married at the cathedral in downtown Cleveland. And then after we, uh, we got married, I, I, we started really, th I started really thinking about that. I really enjoyed going to, going to mass with her and that I would like to um, explore becoming Catholic, which kind of jumped us into exploring what kind of RCIA process to go with. And that's kind of how we fell on St. V. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Do you, you mentioned your background. Did you, as that young adult getting married uh, at this stage in your life, did you have some sense that there seemed to be something missing in your life? Um, absolutely. Uh, there was, Sarah and I have struggled for the last couple of years with infertility, trying to have children. We've been married for going on four years. And I didn't realize I had um, something missing. I was dealing with a lot of internal anxiety and, and things like that. And um, once I started consistently going to mass with her when for a lot of years to college and right after college for the first couple of professional years, I wasn't going consistently to church, any, my church, you know, as a Methodist or as, or as a soon to be Catholic. And, um, I, I did feel like I was missing something. I felt like, um, I needed, it was the first time in my life where I couldn't control everything. I was dealing with this infertility. And as I started going to our RC, RCIA process and going to mass, I felt a little bit of that, um, being able to let go of that control and knowing that it's up to something much greater and higher than myself. Um, as a young man, you just want to bust through the wall and get, yeah. get that challenge, go through that challenge, whatever is facing you. And um, the last couple of years, I've learned that, you know, you can't, you can't beat all challenges yourself. You have to leave it up to God. And it was just really good timing in my life. I didn't realize I needed it until I started going through the process. Yeah, that's something too. I think a lot of people have told me through the years and myself, some of you know, I became Catholic in my college years way back in 1965. But realizing, yeah, there was something missing and I became aware of it. Let me ask you, you, you mentioned that aspect. Are there other, th other things in this whole process you've learned about yourself or come to a deeper self-awareness? Um, I've definitely became a, um, a better husband. Uh, Sarah and I... We love um, doing our CIA process and, and love talking about our, our faith to each other. I think it's really helped strengthen our relationship. Um, and it's really helped me um, put things in perspective and not stress out on the little day-to-day -day things. Um, it kind of lets me let go um, and, and realize the last, say, year or so, that I've really become a lot closer and stronger in my faith that... Um, that you know it isn't i guess to you know let go that it is that it is in god's hands and and that um and that i am here because of him um so that's kind of yeah so that answers on that, yeah do you feel that somehow he was calling you or he was influencing you that the lord god was directly in this in some way in your life absolutely absolutely i can't and especially because of um um, our infertility issues the last years or so there was 
I didn't realize I, I, we jumped into RCIA at the same time that I felt like I needed something more than what I could control. And it was the exact timing I needed almost within like a couple of weeks saying, man, I need to, I was really dealing with some anxiety and some depression. And I jumped into this um, with, with you, Father Norman and, 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 and the deacon. And we were just, and as soon as I left that first class, I go, wow, this is where I was supposed to be. God put me here for a reason. It was wonderful. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Well, let me tell you, the whole ask you, the whole experience of going through, of hearing presentations, of being with others together who are also exploring, as you look back at that, what have you valued about that whole RCIA experience? It was a whole group of new people I don't think I ever would have met. Um, it, was a, it was a tight-knit group. Um, Sarah and I, my wife Sarah and I, went going there. We we realized that um, we felt like a part of community. We felt, we felt part of St. V's right away. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we, there was a whole group with so many different backgrounds and why reasons why people got to that point where they said, you know what, at their adult life, um, I want to go through RCA and see if I want to become Catholic. You know, there's a couple guys my age, you know, people way older than myself, people younger than myself, and we all had our different reasons why we were there in that class. And that was so interesting to me. And we felt like, you know, a small, strong group really that, uh, um, that we were able to bond over all our different backgrounds and why we were there. Um, so I felt like I'm a part of something, a part of a community now being part of St. Vincent St. Mary's. Yeah. And I know that's essential. I know people often talk about the foundation is our relationship with the Lord and being in a community, do you feel having a sense of community there and even in future ways is going to help you in your ongoing lifelong formation? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it, I think be having, being part of a community, number one is it, um, having that, that routine and that tradition every week to really center your heart and mind you know, at mass, but also to be, get involved with extracurriculars to help with different things. Like we're going to, uh, we're joining the Christ Life series. And I never would have known about that without the, you know, the community and the RCIA process telling me about it and feeling part of a, a community that isn't work or friend base. It's something different, mm-hmm. especially for a, a young, uh, young couple like us. We, we've really enjoyed it because it's a whole new group of people that are like-minded that want to, um, strengthen their faith that you can go there and know that everyone there has your best interest in mind if that makes sense yeah no it does 